Hi, I'm Brother Prater. Welcome to our page. Since everyone was talking about the Jane Pickett Smith video, I felt the need to just come up here just to talk also about the situation. Now, Jane Pickett Smith, being married to Will Smith, um, I was looking at the video as well as it reminded me of the Red Table Talk that Jane Pickett Smith and Will Smith was on. And I want to use this video not to put down Jana Pickett Smith nor Will Smith, but I want us in this conversation to examine ourselves and examine the decisions that we make pertaining to who we date or who we marry. Now, first and foremost, from the very beginning, Jana Pickett Smith did acknowledge that she did not want to be married. I, I just say did not want to be married to Will Smith. Who knows? For her mindset, that was her decision, but they got married anyway. Jenny Pickett Smith's mother spoke to her about marrying and convinced her to get married. That's that. And then later on, on the Red Table Talk, um, they disclosed some information. And then recently, Jenny Pickett Smith did disclose that they've been separated since 2016. Well, as I began to look, it made me examine myself and hopefully even me just sharing this with y'all because I don't like to just talk about people. I throw myself under the bus so that way if anything happens where me sharing you my story, well, if it hits you, that means it hits you too. That old saying, a hit dog going bark. Well, if my story or my situation Hit you. Don't get mad. Just bark. Well, looking at this, Jana Pickett Smith did marry Will Smith, but Will Smith ended up with someone that had two, look, both of them had two different backgrounds and ideology about love and marriage. They had two totally different background, or if you want to say beliefs, about marriage. Marriage being committed. Committed. So, with that, like I said, not talking about them, this should make us look in the mirror about ourselves and also our decisions that we make pertaining to who we may pursue. Because if you look at it, you may see someone who may be very appealing to you, easy on the eyes, and you might be trying to pursue him, pursue him or pursue her. But when you realize their belief, regardless if it's marriage or even uh, uh, the religious belief, moral beliefs, whatever, if it's something that you don't agree with, then it's best, no matter how they look, move on. That's something that we have to do because oftentimes what we do, we'll try to stick it out thinking we can love them enough for them to change. And you know what happens? That's actually a form of witchcraft. Yes, even some in the church that does that. Well, you know, he's not a believer, but you know, God see him as my assignment. If I can love him enough, what the Bible says, sanctify wife, sanctify husband. So even though he ain't saying he don't go to church right now, but I can just, uh, we can get married and you know, I could be that wife, that praying wife and eventually God will touch his heart. That's witchcraft. You already know from the very beginning, he don't go to church. He smoked, he drank, he cheated, and you think you're going to change him? No, 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 no. He ain't the evil one you are. And vice versa. Not just a female, but even a guy. The guy feel like, well, you know what? I can be praying for her and she can change. She got potential. Or, or I'm going to say it like this. We're adults and I'm going to color it. Well, if I... Put it down on her good enough. Oh, that'll make her change her mind. No, nope, that's witchcraft too, bruh. So, for those who may be seeking for love, looking for love, pursuing love, asking God for their significant other, their Boaz, or their Ruth, 
asking God to help us to first examine ourselves to make sure that we able to see someone and to choose someone that is better suit for us that we're compatible with. And also being purpose-minded and purposeful-minded pertaining to who we're pursuing and who we're loving. Because to be honest with you, while people may be looking at and laughing at Jana Pickett Smith and Will Smith, there are so many people that are in the same situation and worse that is right up your door. So let us examine ourselves. Because to be honest with you, like I said, I know myself. I know there have been many times that I have tried to pursue or, or whatever, thinking, oh, you know what, me being very naive, you meet somebody, oh, because they in church, oh, oh uh, everything will be fine. No, 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 no. Look here. The sinner man go to church too. People that go to church, don't. that doesn't mean that they ain't delivered. There are some people go to church to distract you. Matter of fact, I saw a video that there was a witch. There was a witch that practice witchcraft. She says she goes to church. Why? To distract. To find out who she can pray upon to pull them away from the faith. I'm telling you. So people have their own motive of going to church. So that's why God wants us to be prayerful, be obedient to him, and to discern. So that way, when we see someone and God reveals who they really are, then we'll have the knowledge so that way we can deal with that answer that God revealed accordingly. Either to pursue, it might be a, a green flag, pursue them, or it might be a red flag to leave. But what do we do? We see that red flag. Oh, we get the anointing oil and we pray. And I bind that spirit in the name of Jesus. And God said, look here. Yeah, that could be ministering, but that ain't mean it's courting. It's courtship or it's a relationship, a potential relationship. So understanding there are some people, yes, ministry, but if you minister to them, keep your heart out of it. Hmm. Understand this is a very, very, very crucial situation because oftentimes the person that we choose to date that would lead to marriage, you don't understand how important that is. In other words, you choose for the for the guys, you choosing your helpmate. You choosing that person that when you go home, you you want to have peace. You want to have someone that's going to stroke your ego. But instead, you picking up your kids and you taking your kids to the house and you marry someone or you dating someone that don't like your kids. You got somebody talking about your children's mother. You talking to somebody that disrespecting your daughter, your son. Fellas, you chose her. Now, women. You chose that dude that's going to try to beat up on your son. You chose that dude that don't respect you. Also, women, a little extra. <clears throat> a little extra. If men are the priests of the home, the leaders of the home, that means the leaders spiritually. So you marrying someone who ain't even saved, who ain't even delivered. You chose that spiritual leader. And look, if he ain't leadership material, you chose him. So that means from the very beginning, your, the home or the environment spiritually, it ain't going nowhere. It's going to decline. Remember, you see that from the very, from the very beginning, from the jump. You seeing that. So I know some people, <clears throat> well, you know, not everybody can be strong. No, look here. I'm going to tell you something. I know there are some people that know the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. They know it, but they don't apply it. They don't obey it. So it's more so you obeying God. Choose someone that's going to obey God. If they're going to obey God, look, they'll respect you. They'll love you. They'll take care. In other words, if they take care of God's business, they'll take care of God's child. Think about that. So from this point on, yeah. That Jana Pickett Smith, Will Smith situation, that opened up my eyes. Not for their business, but for my business. Make sure, even as a minister, make sure when the time comes for me to date, when the time comes for me to get married, hey, look here, 
leave no stone unturned. Make sure I'm doing my best to choose wisely, but also not only praying for my future wife, but also praying for my future wife, husband, and me. Make sure that I'm doing my part in preparing myself for that beautiful wife, that uh, uh, loving wife that's going to be honorable, respectful, careful. Look, careful, her husband. And those that know me, they already know. I'm going to take care of my wife. I'm going to spoil the mess out of her. Because that's my wife. Yeah. And I'm, look here. Now, I'm going to say that this is a little extra. But, yes, I'm going to take care of my wife. We're going to be praying together. We're going to have fun together. And also, we're going to do some crazy stuff together. Yeah, we're going to get bowdy, bowdy, and rowdy, rowdy. Yes, indeed. And we still save, sanctify, and filled with the Holy Ghost and never fire. Yes, indeed. Yes. So, that's what marriage is about. So, from the very beginning, make sure that we link up with the right one. And also, be obedient to the instruction that God show you. Because if he's showing you the red flags, accept those red flags. If those green flags, accept those green flags. So, everything that you know about God, he cares about you. He loves you. And he wants you to make the right decision. So, from this point on, like I said, even for those who may know Janet Pickett Smith and Will Smith, hey, look here. I'm being honest with you. I'm praying for y'all. Re regardless, regardless if y'all together or not, I want y'all to know Brother Prater is praying for y'all. If there's any past uh, 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 hurt, past drama or trauma, whatever, I'm praying for y'all. I'm praying for y'all. Look here. It doesn't matter if the person is in Hollywood or in Oak Cliff. We all need prayer. And also, I'm praying for the kids. Nobody knows what the kids are going through unless y'all know them. I don't know them personally, but I can only imagine. You know, so I'm praying for the whole family and for us to be the people that God called for us to be and also be mindful of who we give our heart to, who we give our love to, and ultimately who we potentially marry or date. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you right now. Thank you, Lord, for your awesomeness. We come to you right now, God, we acknowledge your presence on today. So, God, we ask you to help us right now, God. In whatever decision that we may make, God, even pertaining to courting, dating, or even leading up to marriage, God, help us right now, God, to consult you, God. Help us right now, God, to be mindful, God, of the flag that you show us, God. If it's a red flag or a green flag, God, help us, God, to accept that those are the flag that you're showing us, God, and help us, God, to deal with them accordingly right now. In the name of Jesus, and we bind everything the devil stands for, we cancel the devil's assignment right now. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you, Lord, even for healing our hearts, God, from past hurt, God, healing our heart, healing our minds right now, God. And God, we speak right now, God, even for those who may have dealt with things in the past, God, help them, God, to forgive right now, God. And they're forgiven, not for the ones that hurt us, God, but even for us, God, help us, God, be able to be healed and forgiven right now, to be able to give forgiveness, God, regardless if they feel like that, that person deserves it or not, God, because we know, God, that that uh, uh, forgiveness is for our benefit, God, so that way, God, we can be broken free, God, from the past right now, God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for the marriages that are coming from this, God, we thank you, Lord, for the courtships that are coming from this right now, in the name of Jesus, and we thank you, Lord, for everything you've done, everything you're going to do, and thank you, Lord, for the, the purpose and the testimony that's coming from this right now, in the name of Jesus, we give you the glory and honor and the praise, in Jesus' name we pray, we say amen, amen, amen. I thank you for watching this video and I pray that it ministers to you. Be blessed.